Yes, sir. You already know. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Let's go and jump right into it. So AMC, we trading at about fifty dollars and eighty cents at the time of this recording, guys. So let's talk about it. So we pretty much was prepared for what happened on today. We didn't know exactly when it was going to happen, guys, but we knew the day was going to be a pretty much sideways day, and it killed our momentum from yesterday from pulling all the way back down to 52 around that strong support. We knew that killed our momentum. If we would have stayed above 55, this thing could have we could have seen a good Friday, I believe. But we knew our momentum was killed, so we knew it was going to pretty be a much sideways day, and it was a great time for that dip, guys, because we knew that previously – when we hit $52 support, we had a nice little, just a hair. We dipped just below a hair to around $51 and 70 something cent, guys. And that gave us an indication that we could come down and test that resistance, that previous resistance around $48, guys. And that's exactly what we did today. We came down to around $47.77, guys. That's right around 48 cents. And just again, there goes that just a hair. We broke below 48 resistance just a hair at 47.77. So that gives us indication that we could possibly go down and test that $42, guys. I told you that's the lowest we expect AMC to go is around 42 bucks. And then bounce straight off off there from the dip will be eating up rapidly, guys. It's a lot of people waiting to start a position at AMC, and that's a lot of people that done you know done got what they came for and selling off. It's a lot of day traders. It's a lot of people with different you know agendas, and it's also a lot of apes that's continue to hold their shares, guys. So everybody you know doing whatever they want to do, but I think it's more apes people that's continue to hold their shares more than anything else guys that's going on so let's talk about it though we know that we knew we was pretty much prepared for this dip to 48 guys and now we need to be prepared for another pullback guys in my opinion this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor it's good to see that we had buying pressure off of that dip to 48 we uh, went straight up during a time when it's usually a sell-off during lunchtime around 1 30 we started to uptrend and go up to test 52 as a point of resistance and that was strong support was we got up to around 51 dollars and 70 plus cents twice and then failed to break above it guys and because i feel we dipped below that 48 resistance we're not done just dipping just yet guys so you already know i feel it's a lot of newbies and beginners out there probably scared and you know don't know what to do but this is not financial advice i'm just letting you know what your boy doing i'm continuing to hold my shares because you know once you if you if anybody want to know where the trouble trouble lies i say at 42 if we dip to 42 guys and we fall below 42 dollars that's when you know the you can be a little alerted like hold because if we fall below 42 it's a free fall straight down to 25 26 dollars a share and guys i'm just here to inform you and let you know what i see so you know that's all we really got for this this video we do feel amc is just getting warmed up you know this thing is just the beginning and but we don't we can't we not in control to you know how people hold their hold their shares a lot of people could be you know we don't know how many newbies of retail investor there is or how many you know experienced trader there is because if it's more experienced traders it people will hold the line with more conviction because we know how this thing you know how we know how the stock market pretty much operates but if it's not a newbies people with not much experience that's majority of the retail investors then we don't know how they will hold their position so trouble will lie at, at 42 that 42 dollar mark if that doesn't hold that's when we could see a huge sell-off guys so just be prepared for that you already know i'm gonna keep y'all prepared so that's all i really got for you guys this video don't forget to add your boy on ig also get your free stock in the description below with we bull so you can be in the aftermarket all the way up to 8 p.m and be in the pre-market early as 4 a.m in the morning guys so get up on that because i know y'all heard about what's going on with robin hood we ain't even got to mention that if you don't know go ahead and search it you feel me robin hood and the and the little shit they got going on they getting sued and shit but like i say i'm in multiple brokerages i still would continue to use robin hood i got a little funds over there i like how simple how simple it is to use a platform you get what i'm saying so i continue to play with a little bit of money over there such as we bought uh td ameritrade cash out 
you know, we, we got money. We, we have shares everywhere, guys. So you just want to be diversified so you can be able to strike at any opportunities whenever they presents itself as you build yourself up over time. Don't just go running off just doing that if you begin or just getting into it. You don't really, there's really no need for all those different accounts. You need to master one, one account first before you go off and trying to do all that extra stuff. But I mean, it's okay to have two accounts at the beginning too. I mean, as long as you, you know, being conservative and, you know, take your time and whatnot. But that's all I got for you guys' this video. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you.